Hello, good morning, everybody. Uh, Wilson's World, Wilson's World Homeschool here, uh, and we're just going to jump right into it. Uh, Hallie's on the line with us right now from the John Croslin School. We've done Wilson's World out there at the John Croslin School uh, a couple times on site. Good, good morning, Hallie. I think we, I, I, I think I just heard your your dog bark in there. Yeah. My coworkers really want to make sure that they're here supporting me and um, all the students. Well, there, there you go. I, I got George is sitting right over there just looking at me. He's pretty used to it right now, though. Listen, uh, the John Croson School, you all are, you deal with and you work with so many different kids and so many and you just with, with parents and really well. There's a lot of moms and dads out there that are having a tough time with some of this homeschool stuff right now. And it's, it's OK because we're all we're all feeling challenged right now, aren't we? Yes. And since our mission is very specific to serve students that um, have a learning disability, attention um, concerns on the spectrum, all of our kids are unique in their own way. So we're making sure when we talk to our parents that it is okay. This is not going to be a smooth transition. Have grace with your child. Have grace with yourself. Lower your expectations. Um, a student that thrives in structure and then all of a sudden we tear that structure away and now they're at home learning at their desk in their room, um, it's going to be an adjustment. Um, so I think there's a lot of things schools can do. But as a parent, I think the biggest thing is um, allow yourself just to take a step back and not be perfect. And mistakes will happen. There will be the meltdown. And, and, and I think that goes for every parent out there and every, with, with any kid that may be watching this. I do know that, the, you know, the John Croson School, you, you deal with certain challenges in different ways. I imagine some of those challenges now for your parents can be can be heightened because you, 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 if you have a you know a child ADHD or something that, that that is kind of used to doing things a certain way and now like you were saying that structure what do you suggest with that just just one day at a time? So one day at a time, but also having a structure that mirrors what was working at school. Okay. So for us, we have a lot of movement. So the idea is we still have like a morning recess, and we're encouraging during recess for parents to send their children outside run around and then bring them back in because okay. that's what we typically do. So I think pushing activity, also making sure um, we do morning check-ins. So the idea is how are you feeling this morning? And if you're in a bad place, before we start math, let's get you out of that bad place. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so kind of, you know, what, what zone are you in? And we want kids to identify and like have them, give them that voice before it's like, all right, number one. Um, and that's, so we're mirroring, we're trying to mirror school. Um, set up as much as possible. And not every school has that, um, has that ability, if you will, um, but it's working really well for us so far. And, and I imagine, you know, with, with, the, with that structure you have there, it's like we're saying, it's a challenge for everybody and it's okay to not be okay. How has transitioning online uh, been going for you all at the John Croson School? It's been pretty good. I mean, I'd say generally pretty good. We had one day of interrupted learning. Um, that was it. And so like it literally was pick up your stuff and let's move on. Yeah. Um, we did a lot of pre-planning and practice. Um, but I think the biggest is um, if, you know, we do have a few families that this is hard. Mm -hmm. um, parents, both parents are working. They can't sit beside their child and help. So the idea is um, I'd encourage other families out there ask, you know, what else can be done? If this is not working, can we meet one on one with the teacher virtually, you know, after the normal class hours? Or um, can you be really flexible with due dates? And as long as we get it done in the next week or two, does it matter if it's on Tuesday? Um, and I think the idea is right now, social, emotional well-being trumps everything. Yeah, well, you know what? I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad you said that because that, that, that's kind of what I'm hearing. Like, hey, it's, it's okay. It's everything. We're all in this together, and it's okay. Things aren't going to be how they were. And if you don't get to it today, guess what? Yeah. We, just, we just want you to be okay tomorrow. So, and I think we're trying to provide a lot of support, a lot of programming for families that want it. But at the same point, we're not expecting you to participate in everything because you can't. Um, and so I think um, every family needs to do what works for them. And that's where I think um, our mission's great because we're, we look at each child as an individual, yeah. um, set up programming for them, and we're trying to do the same thing online. Uh, Hallie, Hallie, thank you so much. Uh, just some great tips right there. It's okay to not be okay. We'll have a link up to the John Croslin School at WCCBCharlotte.com. Uh, thank you. Get back to your coworker, the, the dog right there, okay? Sounds wonderful. Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot. Hey, that's Wilson's Royal Homeschool. Again, details up at WCCBCharlotte.com. We'll be right back.